Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council. And if you've been driving around the high country in the last few years, you might even recognize the guy next to me, but he doesn't have his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> This is, <laughs> I didn't I, want to mess up my hair today. Oh, well, you could have just, you know, had hat hair the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I normally do. <laughs> this is Alan Gordon. Hi. And Alan has a multifaceted life. A while ago, I heard you call yourself schizophrenic. Uh, yes, uh, many personalities, <laughs> many layers. Or many lives. Many lives, there yes. Uh, one of them is as a realtor, but the other one is, uh, and that's probably where most people know you, just because your picture's been all over the, in front of whatever house or whatever it was you were selling. But, yes. uh, but he also creates pictures of a whole different type. He is a painter. And I just met mm. a guy, or talked to a guy a while ago that's known Alan for 15 years and didn't know that he was a painter. So you must be hiding this in the closet someplace. Oh, I tell you what, I am just painting away. I've always painted. Uh -huh. I love painting. Uh, but I've just gotten serious in the last six years. Really? Well, yes. Yeah, but you've been kind of, it's, it's been a part of your life forever. I oh, it's been a part of my life, mm -hmm. yes. I was fortunate enough to illustrate a uh, book for Alan Cohen, an uh -huh. international writer, uh -huh. called Are You As Happy As Your Dog? And it's on Amazon, so that's my 15 minutes of fame. That's cool. Uh, I do trade and editorial cartooning. Mm -hmm. I was actually the first cartoonist for the Blowing Rocket in yeah. 1992 and 1993, Jerry Burns was kind enough to allow me to be a cartoonist in the newspaper. They had never had a cartoonist. Right, and they, I don't think they've got one right now. They, they don't. I was the one and only. I think a lot of people ran out of their shops and yelled at me. So, uh, you being said a, it wasn't helping sell real estate. It was way. not helping sell real estate <laughs> at all. So I figured that being a cartoonist is not conducive for being a realtor. So then I went to do the, my real estate thing. Now, let's back up all the way. Where are you originally from, Alan? I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. I lived there for 44 years. I basically went to Chapel Hill, uh -huh. came back, uh, went into a family business for 23 years, mm -hmm. retired from that, and then we came up to Blowing Rock as a different type of journey. Mm -hmm. And there I have been in real estate and doing my art. Now, have you drawn and painted and all that all of your life? All of my life. I've doodled. I've done advertising. Uh, my first painting, which was really awesome, I mm -hmm. used oatmeal. And I used acrylics. And what I did is I layered the oatmeal in acrylics. And I thought, this is really cool. <laughs> and then two of our dogs came in with blue and purple and red paint. <laughs> and oatmeal on their faces, and I thought, that's not cool. <laughs> you so, had it down where they could get to it. That's the problem. <laughs> that's what I believe, yeah. And then we painted our house that we were renting uh -huh. at the time, and the landlord came in because I was so excited, and he almost had a heart attack. So <laughs> my early painting career <laughs> was uh, spotty at best. <laughs> now, were you a doodler all your life? I, do I love doing that? cartoons. I love doodling, and yeah. it was just been a a fantastic thing for me because what it does is it takes you into a different space. It does. Mm -hmm. Your heart rate goes down, your focus gets clear. Uh, it's like a meditation for me. Well, and for you too, I, I've noticed that it's a, it's a way of expressing your humor in yes. a large way. And he does have quite humor. Um, his <laughs> paintings, when we were putting up the labels for the paintings, it was kind of... Ever you know, you look at them and they're, they're really neat, really cool paintings. Thank you. But then when you see the label, it's like, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say it's I'm out of your head type of paintings. Uh -huh. uh, I just do what the voices in my head say. <laughs> So, and, for example, we've got four of your paintings around us right now. Yes. And this one is called... Don't Hog the Couch. And I figured that that would be a, a fun painting to do. That just popped in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the one behind you is barking up the wrong tree. Uh, the one behind me is unplugged. And so <laughs> this one is Cheer Wine. So I've just, you know, it's fun. I look mm -hmm. at the world through humor. Uh, which can be a blessing or not, uh, because when I see things, I see humor. Mm -hmm. And it just, to me, that's the only thing that's really been constant in my life. And the one thing that's 
gotten me through. Right. Now, a lot of people don't see humor at all, and so it's, it's odd to me. <laughs> now, do you, for example, Unplugged. Were you thinking Unplugged when you started this painting, or was that something that happened as you went in and started painting? How do you start one of these paintings? Well, actually, uh, it had a different title. Uh, you know, it, then I, I started working with it, and this particular one right here, it's sort of odd. Um, I basically went ahead and painted uh, the gentleman and then started adding the things to it. And this is actually a repaint. This is the original, but once I saw it, I didn't quite like the bird or I didn't like some of the things about it. So I just kept on going. And then I thought, well, you have a plug and you have a so socket and just go unplugged. <laughs> so it just evolves. <laughs> it yeah. evolves. And, and I see something in my head. A lot of times I really want to transfer it to the paint uh, the paper. I uh -huh. work in watercolor, uh -huh. pen and ink. And when I do, it's really cool. And when I don't, I think, well, what can I do to make it what I want? Now, from an artistic standpoint, are you, you you've got a blank, what, you work on canvas? I work on watercolor paper. Watercolor paper. So you've got a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. You've got paints, you've got ink, you've got all these things handy. Yes. What starts? Where do, where do you start? I start with design. And what I'll do is I'll do my design and I'll ink and paint. Uh, over it and then ink again and then paint over it and then go get an egg salad sandwich <laughs> and some cranberry <laughs> juice or something and come back and paint and ink and I l start to layer it like acrylic. That's been uh -huh. fun. I, I layer it deeply because I can't get the definite lines in watercolor that most people can right. do. Mm -hmm. So I figured that when I start throwing ink on it, that's my well, way it's still water-based, so you know, you're yes. kind of still doing the same thing. Now, you've got a lot of texture in your paintings, so how are you getting those? I'm just layering. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just using all types of things, you know, anything in the kitchen. So, or, so you're laying things down on the wall. Yeah, way. anything yeah. that I look at. Um, you know, I might put the side of my head onto it and rub it around, <laughs> and that gives it a real nice glow, and then it takes three days to wash my hair. Oh, serious? <laughs> Watercolor comes out pretty quick. The it's, ink now. <laughs> it's spontaneous. When I paint, I paint on a flat wooden table. Uh -huh. The dogs are on the couch. General Hospital or Oprah. Well, Oprah's not on now. General Hospital or Dr. Phil's on. And it's all spontaneous because I can be with the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, I paint flat. I don't really have a studio. Uh, now, now, do you brew a painting in your head before you start it, or does it happen on, on the paper? I will do it before I start. Mm -hmm. I'll sit around with a sketch, and I might be sitting there watching TV and think, wow, that's a fun idea. Uh -huh. So I'll do it, and I'll just let it progress and, and so, see how it goes. So you just let it evolve. Let it, you know, I've heard some people say, uh, especially writers, will mm -hmm. say that a book will write itself once right. they get it started. And I've heard painters say that, mm -hmm. that they'll start a painting and they'll have a different idea maybe even, you know, and then it will just kind of take over and become what it's going to be. You right. Know? And so I get the feeling that your paintings have a tendency to do that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't think I have the patience. Like I have a friend who does oils, gorgeous oils, and what she does is she puts down a small painting and then does a big painting. Right. By mm -hmm. that time, very, I, would, I would be impatient. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I, I just, I, I go with the flow. Wherever it's going to go is what it's going to go. Uh -huh. Because I feel like, you know, I don't want to feel like I want to please somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. I just want to please myself. And if they like it, I love it. So you're not painting to sell a painting. You're painting because you want to paint. Right. I sell real estate, and that puts on pressure. I uh -huh. paint to just enjoy the process. And if it sells, that's awesome. And how long have you been selling work? Uh, probably about four years. Okay. And you're currently represented with Carlton Gallery. Carlton Gallery. Tony Carlton mm -hmm. has been awesome. She has been so nice to me. And Carlton Gallery is 10 miles out of Boone, south um, on Highway 105 right. South. And it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Tony's she is awesome. Person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has been very instrumental. Joe Miller has been awesome. And Susanna you, yeah, Winton. Yeah, you have studied with a lot of local experts. Yeah. Right. Chuck McLaughlin was my first uh -huh. uh, workshop, and right. he taught me, uh, you know, watercolor. And then when I started putting ink on it, he comes over and says, that's it. That's cool. Uh-huh. 
And so then Susanna Winton is awesome from Florida. Right. Uh, Wes Wall is amazing. Tim Ford mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. So, so you are, do you carry a little bit of each one of them in your work? I do, and also what I do is I look on the internet. I'm a sponge for the internet. Uh huh. So I'll go on and look at a um, different artist, and if I can find someone I like, <coughs> excuse me, I just love to, you know, just a sponge. You look, you listen. Um, you, look for you feel it. Uh -huh. You feel the inspiration. There are so many awesome artists. There are. There are. And, you know, the, uh, the Internet is, is huge and, and so many right. places to look. But even locally, we've got an uh, enormous array of artists in our community. And, and you're kind of out on one side of it, honestly, right. you know, because your work has a, a borders on cartooning, you know. Yes. And so, which you've done. Mm -hmm. You've played with that as well. So, you know, and so now do you do caricature as well? I took a caricature uh, course from Mike Fence who did uh -huh. uh, Garfield for 28 years. Oh, wow. You know, so, I mean, he is just awesome. Uh, he was, it was a great course. It was a lot of fun. So did, was he the inspiration for Dude Van Gogh? Uh, Dude Van Gogh was one of my first works, and he was not. That was one of my first <laughs> works that looked really weird, and then I started throwing paint down, and that gave me some freedom with Dude Van Gogh. Uh -huh. And when we refer to Dude Van Gogh, we're talking about one of his paintings that's up at the uh, Blue Ridge Art Space right now. Right. So, and we should say that uh, Alan has an exhibit going for the month of March. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to see it all through the month up until the first weekend in April. And uh, I encourage you to come by. It's really an adventure. Take some time because you're going to want to take each painting and really look at it because there's a lot of hidden stuff in the paintings. It's almost like you've got a whole world in each one of them. I do, and uh -huh. I try to layer it in. I just wanted to give a shout out to Noyce Capehart, oh, yeah. who mm -hmm. to me is just so fantastic. Uh, Tommy Lee is a fantastic <laughs> painter. I mean, there's so many great painters, and what you do is great because you have all ages from children to se True. Uh -huh. seniors and it's just amazing what you do at the arts council well, thank you and i wish everybody would go by and and really look at it spend some time and uh definitely i know that donations or memberships are always absolutely. appreciated absolutely thank you for plugging that because that is very that's important. my plug <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we're really excited to have Alan's work, and he mentioned the array of artists. There are some other uh, exhibits up at the same time that you will find a very distinct contrast. For example, mm -hmm. Tara Belk is next to you. She's in the next awesome, gallery. awesome. But her work and yours are miles apart in mm -hmm. terms of the way they look, you know, the overall look. You know, right. hers has a completely different appearance from yours, and it's kind of neat to see mm -hmm. them together, you know. And then Joyce Ham's very soft watercolors that are in the Serendipity Gallery. She's and wonderful. Too. Then we've got emerging artists in our children's gallery. The mm -hmm. children from Thoughtful Thursdays range from, I think the youngest one's five. Wow. And they range to 17. And it's pretty amazing what those kids can do. They've got some good teachers. Uh, Rebecca Burnett and Holly Sukup are doing a fantastic job teaching mm -hmm. these kids. They're both very talented in and of themselves. So, yeah. you know, you mentioned all the different talent and different artists in our community. I think you're holding your own with the rest. Stop well, I'm trying. Marsha Holmes was a very nice person. Uh, she's a she's a really nice person and teaches at the senior center. Right. Uh, senior center. And she's our gallery chairperson. Yeah. So she, I was very impressed with her. So you know, every time I go and meet artists, I feel comfortable because artists tend to share. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And you sort of get that energy mm -hmm. around you so I love being an artist so that brings up a question if you love being an artist you sound to me like you've had a lot of careers already in your life so is this the next phase this will be the next phase of my career I've been uh, in all types of things in the jewelry business mm -hmm. for 23 years Oh, I didn't know about the jewelry business oh yeah I was in the jewelry business for 23 years I had an advertising agency uh -huh. Um, I helped develop some re uh, some outlet mall concepts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've been a realtor. Uh, I'm still sort of a realtor, but now I'm an artist. <laughs> so what are you going to be when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm going to be when I grow up. I've talked to my kids. They're not sure what I'm going to be. So, uh, But my daughter's 
uh, getting her doctorates in uh -huh. psychology. So she's going to work on you and figure it she out. She is going to work on me, and I'm going to get a family <laughs> discount. And she said I can make payments. So if uh, that's, that's very great. a good thing. That's great. I bet you've been making payments on her life for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so she uh, can take these paintings and she can analyze them then. And get I hope not. No, <laughs> she better. <laughs> But I think me being crazy had a lot to do with her pursuing psychology. Well, I do think that the whole idea of your paintings is it shows the humor, the whimsy, the fun side of Alan, you know. And I think that's that's really a whole lot of uh, the enjoyment that I get from it. Enjoy, looking at your work is, is peeking into your personality a little bit, you know. And so I think it's fascinating to see where you're, unless you've got another whole side we hadn't seen yet. No, I don't think I'm going to get real serious. I'm not a landscape <laughs> painter. And I really admire these painters that are mm -hmm. so incredible, the masters, uh, the painters who are just fantastic, who can take a face and make it exactly. Yeah, uh, photographic resemblance. Photographic, uh -huh. just amazing. But with me, at least, this, I don't have to do that. Right. And that's what gives me joy. Mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want to do, and obviously I do. Uh -huh. So it's just a lot of fun. Well, your work is a lot of fun. And well, I'm thank enjoying you. getting to know you and your work, and I look forward to being around all that work for a whole month. And I hope that everybody out there is going to come and have a great time enjoying it too. I think they will. You know, We need to mention you have a website, Leapfrog Art. Yeah, leapfrogart.com, mm -hmm. and uh, that's my website. And so I really do would appreciate you just going and taking a look. And, you know, whether you like my art or not, it really doesn't depend. It's the fact that you look at art, any art, right. and enjoy it. And can Excellent. I give one big shout out? Sure. I'd like to say really a big thank you to my wife, Gilda, who supported me in my art. Because every time I take her a picture and show it to her, uh -huh. she'll look at me and say, Honey, move to the left so I can watch TV. <laughs> She appreciates your art. Yes. <laughs> it keeps you out of trouble. That's the good thing. It totally keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> you know, I think that you actually, Gilda's involved with Humane Society, and there's a lot of animals in your art. So. Yes, there are. Uh -huh. Yeah, I really care for the animals mm -hmm. and care that people, you know, look toward adopting animals mm -hmm. that need a home. And six of our dogs are all rescues and two of our cats, and I'm just holding my breath for what else comes in. Oh, I've got a cat in mind for you. Oh, <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> go, be sure you go and check Alan's website out, check out his art. Come by the Blue Ridge Art Space and check it out. It really is worth your time. And, of course, check our website, watauga-arts.org, for information about this and a lot more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.